Hello and welcome back to SnowRunner, y'all. And of course, welcome back to a beautiful morning out here on the first map in the new Ontario DLC region. Now, the truck that we are driving at the moment is a private mod, and I have left all of the information about both this truck and the trailers that I'm using in the description down below in case you're curious. Now, before we go any further, though, we got a job to do. And our job is to rebuild one of the water towers so that we can get the firefighting infrastructure really kicked off on this map. But in order to do that, we need to actually make our way over to one of the areas where you can pick up cargo and then from there transport that cargo to the water tower itself. So we're going to need some small pipes and we're also going to need a cabin. Now, the pickup point, or at least one of the pickup points, is right here around the corner. And God, I love the sunrises on this map, by the way. The sunrises on this map are absolutely freaking beautiful. So let's see. We got a left hand turn we can make in here. And what do we have in this one? We've got, let's see, uh, is there, wait a minute. Uh, we need small pipes and a cabin. Oh, so the two small pipes are already in there. I was like, what is it listing that we can pick up from there? And then I realized, I was like, oh, okay, small pipes are good. Okay, so let's make our way on through. And I'm thinking that as soon as we get through here and we grab these small pipes, we'll be able to just roll back on over with what we already, oh my god, really? Because I know where the cabins are. The cabins are at the other pickup point. Can we not be stuck on a tree at the moment, please? Thank you. Now, I was smart, and I went ahead and put some extra front weight on the uh, the front end of this custom load star. And by the way, yo, massive thanks to the person that commissioned this custom load star for letting me have a go in it. It's such an awesome little truck. Well, I shouldn't really say little. It's not that small. All right, let's see. We got small pipes, and boom, boom. Okay, now, and how many cabins do we need? Just one? Beautiful. All right, that'll be the perfect amount of cargo for our six-unit trailer, actually. So let's get you turned around. This big old six-unit is, uh... It's a little bit of a hoss for a small area like this, but it's fine. Don't worry, we'll get it turned around. Gobbles. <laughs> All right, let's see. Where do we want to be headed from here? As a matter of fact, no, I was going to drive through that river, but I was like, hey, that's probably dumb, and you probably shouldn't do that, and why would you even do that in the first place? Why would you think that that was a good idea, Hammond? Well, because I thought it was a good idea. Don't, ju don't judge me. Don't judge. I see you judging me. Don't judge me. I mean, you can if you want. It's not going to affect me. I'm just going to pull another Hammond. It's fine. <laughs> All right, let's make our way back on out to the main road and give this thing some fuel and let it rip. Now, normally, you would continue driving directly on down this road and go past the gas station and then over the couple of bridges that are down there. But here's the thing. Well, you see, those bridges down there, well, we haven't built one of them yet. So I'm going to take the waterfall route, and I know that this thing can do it. I know that it's not going to have any issues at all. I mean, it's on freaking 47s, I think. And there's like a 45 or a 47-inch tire, so I ain't going to worry about it. If I worry about it, stop me. Like, smack me in the face if I worry about it, because I really don't have to worry about it with something like this. Although, you know what I do have to worry about? My freaking hood stack blinding me as I drive. When I built this truck, I was like, oh yeah, the hood stack, that'll be, that'll be cool. That'll be nifty. That'll be neat. That'll win me all of the, you know... All of the all of the cool points at the local truck show, and then I realized that once I started driving with it, a hood stack is a terrible decision because it blinds you as you drive. And you know, I mean, as Clarkson once said, looking good is more important than looking where you're going. But as anybody that has actually ever driven anything knows, that's kind of a lie. All right, can we make our way on down through here without flipping our cargo over? I think we can. Fun fact, this shortcut works great. If you're looking for shortcuts on the first map in Season 9, oh, this is a beautiful one. It's so good. Like, you can just knock it out in no time at all. Just drive right through here and then drive across the top of the waterfall. Easy peasy. You don't even have to build that other bridge if you don't want to. It's so quick. Ow! God, that's the most solid bench I've ever seen. Also, my trailer's stuck on something. Oh, that's also, you know what my trailer is stuck on? The world's strongest trailer awning. God, when did they start making trailer awnings out of freaking, what, like reinforced steel? Let's not, please and thank you. All right, driving across the top of the waterfall should be no issue at all, so long as we don't flip and lose all our cargo and, well, die. 
It's not exactly advised. Um, please and thank you. Oh my god. This went well. Takes really stupid route to go somewhere. Is surprised when stupid route doesn't work the way that they planned. <laughs> that worked the way that we planned. Oh my god. Okay. All right. This is... Yeah. This is great. This is lovely. This is just fine and dandy and lovely in every possible way, isn't it? Not really! Hammond, you idiot, you've... Oh. Oh, God. Ooh, the trailer did something really odd. It, like, jumped to the, like, left, right? I'm not even sure which way it went. I don't even... I don't even need to think about that right now. All right, so where is the... Aha, it's right there. All right, so all I need to do is to drive up onto this trail, and then from there, I will be good to go. Easy freaking peasy. See, that wasn't so bad, was it? I mean, it was kind of bad, but it wasn't so bad. At least not in my brain it wasn't so bad. Ooh, easy. Don't let it lose momentum. If you let it lose momentum, you will be doomed. You'll doom yourself, and that's always the worst kind. Here we go. All right, finally we got some kind of momentum we can use. By the way, this thing's on the max power tune, and we're just like, we're still just like hammering the crap out of this thing, trying to get it to do what we want it to do. It does not want to come out a second. I'm so glad I went with that weighted bumper, by the way. It helps me out so much. Like, so, so, so much. All right, we're going to have to make a right right here. Aha! Warehouse to the right. Yes. I do think I will. Yes, here we go. What time is it? It's like 8.40 in the morning. That's fine. Most of the people around here probably aren't even up yet. They are now. If they weren't already. I might be able to go into high in here. Nope, never mind. Silly me going with the freaking highway gearbox on this truck. Should have gone with the off-road. I don't know why I optioned this thing with the highway box. Probably because I thought I'd be able to get places faster if I did. But, like, now I'm just kind of sad that I didn't get the off-road box. I think the off-road box would have just made a lot more sense, really. Thing is hauling, though. It's moving out. Like, as long as it's not in water, it's fine. Okay. So, yep, there's that warehouse. Let's get it. Wait a minute. Okay, yeah, no. I was like, do I turn left here? No. You don't turn left here. That would be a full dummy moment if I turned left. Let's definitely not do that. Definitely, absolutely, positively not do that. Sun's pretty much out now, though. All right, rolling up to pick up that cabin. And then I don't think I'm going to even try to turn around in here because, well, we could if we had to, but I don't think we're going to need to. All right, give me the cabin. Please and thank you. Boom, done. All right, fully loaded. And then now... Well, just to make sure that we don't lose the cargo, I will turn this setup around. It shouldn't be too bad, as long as I don't hit that power pole, which the power pole is very, uh, easy to hit. Alright, I went around the power pole, but I'm actually using the power pole to prop up the trailer. Unrealistic, I know, but it's fine. Let me turn around. And then now that I have turned around, now we can actually properly be on our way out. Okay. Good news! We're fine! fourth down to second. Yeah, I kind of knew that it wasn't going to hold fourth through there. I figured it wouldn't, but, it, like, there was a little bit of, like, you know, just a little voice in my head that was like, maybe it will. Maybe it will hold fourth. Maybe it will. You know, just keep a little bit of that in your mind, like, to see if it'll actually hold in fourth. It didn't hold in fourth. Nope. Not even for a second. Little bit up and over that, uh, that guardrail, but, yeah, I'm not going to worry about it. This is a beastly setup, though. I love the way this setup looks. It's such a... It's actually such a sick setup. Like, if I change the time of day... Oh, look at that. Freaking look at that, though. My my roof is... What happened to my roof? Why is my roof caved in? What did I hit? I don't remember. <laughs> That's like the... Oh, my God. I can't think of a more TC... Like, TC way to say that. Where's... The, like, what did I hit? I don't remember. God. All right, the entrance to this water tower should be right up here, which it absolutely is. I'm going to actually go in through the ditch. You know why? Because 
I, well, have a modified load star and I'm not worried about it. Look at that! Well, look at me going back to first now because of my doofus planning. All right, here we go. Ready for a new tower? I think so. Boom, let's freaking go. Water tower done. Yes, superb. Now we can deliver water to two destinations and that's what we'll do. Is it? Is it what we'll do? Is it? Make sure you, uh, you let me know about that. All right, so let's see. Transfuse. Water tower zero out of zero. Okay, so we might need to do something else to kind of make that active. But hey, either way, we got that wrapped up in pretty dang good time for sure. But if y'all enjoyed this video on Season 9 and SnowRunner, make sure to let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments below. Hit that like button if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you would like to see more. And I will see y'all next time.